Yo right there guys, what's going on and welcome back. So today's video is going to be big. We have flashbacks, foot birthdays, future stars, team of the years, icons, you name it. This squad has it. And I wanted to go with that Barcelona theme, you know, the flashbacks. David Villa, previous club. Fidel recently moved. Coutinho, foot birthday card. And I have dropped in a few others. But are they worth it? Because they're really expensive. Let's find out. Please do leave a like, and if you are needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2.com, use the code FUJI on that site to get a discount on every single order. Links will be found in the description, and let's go. So this right here, boys, is the team that we're gonna be using, and I know not every single player has played for Barcelona, but that's what the theme I wanted to rock with, past and present, and it was because of this man right here, David Villa. Now, I've already used him in a slightly different variation of this team, uh, untradeable, 170,000 coins. Is it worth it? We're going to find out today. But six games, seven goals, three assists, five star beat for four star skill moves. And one of the goals I remember quite well was from an acute angle. He ripped into the shot. It was Mike Onescu, you know, in that right wing position. It, it went like behind the keeper in the back of the net. I thought it was a fantastic finish. And I couldn't believe it went in, especially post patch. But the attack positioning is very high. Finishing shot power, long shots. Now that's what you expect from David Villa putting the ball in the back of the net. So he looks amazing. But then we move on to like the proper starting 11. I went and purchased Alexander Arnold for 550,000. I think that's his price, you know. He hasn't really come down even with the mad panic. Um, I think, yeah, 550 is his going rate. Is he worth it though? I like him in the draft, played with him a few times, but how is he gonna fare in the weekend league? So his physical stats could be better, uh, not gonna lie. His defensive ones are very nice. And then on the ball, like taking the taking the ball from your defense into the attack. That's what you're gonna be wanting to do with this card. The passing is there, the playmaking, dribbling, pace, shot power even, and finishing. Like this guy has finishing of a midfielder, like an average center mid and he's a right back. That looks sick. Carl Walker, I have used already. 411,000 coins, eight games or no goals. And how is he gonna perform? He feels fast, really fast in fact. And the defending and physical, that is very much playable for a center back. So it's not like an Ibrahimovic that they've released that just can't play in a center back position. They've done this position change and he is very much playable. Then we look at Arturo Vidal. And it's another player that I had to give a go a little bit. I couldn't wait for this video today. Two games, one goal, one assist. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves. Now he's going to set you back like 350,000 coins. I didn't get anything back from the packs as well. So it's pricey. The defending, physical, dribbling, passing, shooting, pace is Vidal. Remember, I think it was... Uh, Vidal Club, was it Vidal Club or Hullet Club, when a player had like minimum 80 stats in every single category, and that's why he's one of the most balanced centimeters that you can purchase right now, and I do love the look of him. The dribbling, that's what I wanted to focus on. Is he comfortable with the ball? Where am I going to play him? Well, I have been testing him out as a left center mid in the two games. Now I want to use him as a lone CDM. Treat him like a De Rossi, because then the play will go through him, and I want to see how he fares in that position then we got Coutinho that I bought for pretty much 400,000 coins five star week for sorry five star skills four star week for high tight work rates so what would be his best position and now for me personally I'd say um, a cam but then that finishing is a little bit too low for my liking and I don't believe that he's going to be clinical in front of goal but we will try our best to test that I would like to use him as a wide center mid who's going to be able to carry the ball and start playmaking and then have two defensive minded uh, center mids to help support on the defense. So I really like the look of this card though. The acceleration is there. The shooting hopefully uh, is good enough. The passing, the dribbling, he's going to feel super light on the ball and his stamina is pretty good. Then we move over to the last man that I want to highlight and it is Marcelo. You know how I was using the team of the year out of position as a right center mid, and I got on really well with the card. Now he's received like a proper center mid upgrade, well, right mid. Uh, four star weak foot, five star skill moves, and the shooting has been increased, the passing, the dribbling, the interceptions, the stamina. He is like my kind of midfielder that I'd want to use. And I like the fact that they've released him. His jumping isn't as good as the team of the year. And in some areas, uh, you're probably better off just using the team of the year card. But you know what? For 600,000, I'm really looking forward to uh, testing him out. So boys, um, the team's going to be attacking. I might even switch into like a flat 4-3-1-2 instead of a 4 one 2 2 just to get Vidal into the action a little bit more. But I'm ready to go and grind out some results. 
David Villa is going to be subbed on for Raul. Let's go. It is flashback versus flashback. De Rossi, Bedell. Who's going to come out on top? Bedell. So we are in our Barcelona kit today just because of David Villa, Coutinho, Neymar, pass past club Neymar you know is he ever going to go back to there or do you think he's going to go to Real Madrid more likely to go to Real Madrid right go on Raul Raul needs to be subbed out David Villa where are you come on the bench yo Marcelo feels really good on the ball I'd say it's it's more of an upgrade oh Marcelo it's more of an upgrade than the team of the year on the ball I've noticed that straight away. And the finishing, remember pre-patch when I used to play the team of the year as a centre mid, cutting inside, pinging those finesse shots. This guy feels really good already. Get him, get him, get him. Yes, Coutinho. So I, I want to be testing him as a left centre mid because I think, oh, sorry, he's playing as a right centre mid in this setup. The thing with that is I don't feel like he's really that go-to cam and I just want to be putting this team together for myself and to test if I would ever really use him uh, in the future. But go on, Coutinho. He has those five-star skills, so he's going to be super fun to use. And so far, I will admit that he feels very quick. Even with the lack of sprint speed, that acceleration is there, and I think he's going to be really helpful in the attack just to uh, play make with. But this speed that we have right now... Oh, my God. Marcelo. Uh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. That's one thing with Marcelo. He's got a little bit of physical, and he does use that really well. Vidal, though, playing a little bit deeper. Just waiting for him to overcommit a little bit. Oh, man, that, I got lucky. Good save check. Yes, Rio Ferdinand. Oh, no, it's going to go in. Manolas with, like, 19 shooting. I wouldn't be at all surprised. No, 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 don't start lunging. Yes, let's go. Come on, Marcelo. Carry this for us. Marcelo, so far? Oh, that's dirty. That could be a red. Lucas, what have you done? You've let your team down. You've let yourself down. Oh, and he's quit. Game two, and this time we're facing that prime Gerald that came out, was it last night? So let, let's see if he's any good. I should get his loan and try him. Mm, oh, that's the one time that I saw Carl Walker miss out on that 50-50. Uh, Yo, Vidal though on the ball, like his close ball control isn't that bad. As long as you don't do too much, I think he's going to be fine. Uh, for his price though, 350 restricts chemistry and stuff. Is it going to be worth it? We shall see. Marcelo with the finesse. Oh, mm, nah. I'll try and work the play into the box a little bit more. Coutinho, through ball. See, Coutinho's playmaking from deep should help us out a little bit. Marcelo, the dribble. Oh, he broke his ankles. Coutinho, he's got a four star weak foot to be fair. This guy is only defending with the AI right now. And he's making it a lot harder for me to break him down. Coutinho. Damn it, Villa! We worked it, though. Patience is needed when you're against this type of defending. David Villa. Give him half a chance, and he's scoring. And I think that this unlock is affordable. Reasonable. That's the word. Reasonable. For 150000 after you get the packs back. Good finisher. Oh, David Villa. Am I going to get onto that? Yes, he's he doesn't care. David Villa, three times he's closed down the play. And his stamina isn't that great, though, I've got to admit. But then again, his work rates, I think, helps him out. Coutinho, skip inside. Oh, I tried to launch it. It's okay. Marcelo's comfortable with this. The dribbling upgrade on Marcelo is so noticeable. It's amazing. My God, I want Marcelo on the RTG. But then as I use 4-2-3-1, how do I get him in? Maybe he's a right. I think he's good enough to be played as a right attacking mid. And if you are wondering how I'm setting up the team in a 4-1-2-1-2, there it is. Vidal is pushing up and he's helping support the play. Neymar in that cam position. Marcelo, Coutinho. It looks great. I'm a fan of this team right now. Third game and our opponent has himself not the best team, but definitely not the worst. Doesn't Neymar look good in a Barca kit? Or is that just me? Oh, Mendy with the quick feet. All right, this guy's trying to close me down real fast. Mbappe. Mm, maybe I did a little bit too much there. I shouldn't have been uh, juggling the ball. Coutinho on the track back. Oh, well done, Raul. Offering that defensive support. Coutinho. He has that playmaking, the dribbling. Oh, Marcelo outside the box. Finesse. Oh, he started to move his keeper, so I wouldn't have been surprised if that did find the back of the net. Yes, Alexander-Arnold. Yo, he's sick, actually. 
he seems really big in game and I'm not so sure why. Like, I swear in real life he's not that stocky. Or is that just me? What is he doing with his keeper? Yo, is he feeling all right? Allison, I know Allison doesn't have any hands anyway. He's sketchy, but you don't want to be doing that. Is that going to be another rage quit? Okay, boys. Um, let's get into the other one. Let's see if this one is going to be a full game. That's interesting. I like it. Creative. I don't really want to do too much against this guy, like try and score like a nice goal. I just want to get the goal because of the way he's playing his style, he takes about 10 minutes on every single attack. He literally, he's like passing it around the back and it's just unnecessary. He's not really building anything up with that. If he's in my third and he's uh, taking his time with the possession, like what I'm doing right now, fair play. Like you need to, but around the back, nah, ain't happening. Go on. David Villa. Oh, lucky. David Villa. Oh, is that Neymar? We'll take that, you know. I should have probably scored with David Villa, but took a deflection on the way through. It's fine, though. It, oh, actually, it was his reactions. He's breaking up the play quite well. Yes, Coutinho, using that physical. Go on. See, his acceleration, if you keep playing off of that, like you change direction, you're doing the body feints and then use that acceleration, I think you can manipulate his speed because he doesn't have that genuine sprint speed. So you've got to keep getting that acceleration. Well done, Neymar. Neymar's turning up in this one. He feels left out, you know, for birthday flashbacks. What about him? Team of the year. We've made it to halftime. Tune it up, which is a standard scoreline. 58% possession for this guy. I wonder why. Go on, Mendy. Mbappe. Right, who's there? I see Neymar. I see David Villa. I see Coutinho. Oh, I shouldn't have done that skill. My bad. That's it, Carl Walker. Well played. And then keep it simple. Good passing. David Villa. That little shift. Oh, nearly. That little shift to the right-hand side was pretty sweet. I don't know what's with me and second halves, but everything just become so dead and i can't score goals i would think that my opponents would take it upon themselves to maybe attack a bit more or take it off of defensive but now nah, this guy's still using that drop back tactic two nil down in the game you just gotta laugh really because it means nothing to me i like i shouldn't really be getting annoyed by it because i'm winning but it's not really the results that I care about is like the enjoyment on the game and yeah, just trying to score some nice goals and stuff. I think people take this too serious these days. Go on, Coutinho, hmm, poor. Oh, Marcelo, hey, that was a foul. It's all right, Marcelo. You've done what you needed to do. Now I got Mbappe. Go on, Mbappe. No, oh, no! I went to do near post. I was going to do a time shot near post, but I pressed the buttons, I think, three times, and then he started to stumble. Yes, we'll play for him all! Hurry up, man. Now I've got to turn him. The quick feed from David Villa, though. Oh, Jesus, David Villa. If I had that green, I think it would have gone in. But, yeah, the quick feet, how uh, David Villa adjusts, and that's it, right? He can create, like, half a yard to get shots out, but then if you're really expecting him to use, like, agility, balance, and pure dribbling with acceleration, he can't really do that, like an Mbappe, a Neymar, but he's good enough to avoid tackles. That's, that's the best way to explain David Villa. Full time in that game, though, and I've got to test out these players and have a feel for what they're going to be offering, and I want to go back to the team. So a quick rundown of the team and which players are actually worth you guys unlocking. David Villa, I said it once before, reasonable price for what he's offering. He has nice control to uh, take shots. And after the nine games, I've scored eight goals and I've managed to get three assists with him. He isn't my go-to striker, but if I ever had to use him or would I be willing to put him into the starting 11, for sure. I think he's a good finisher. Uh, he's a nice playmaker as well, it seems, like in-game. Maybe the stats don't suggest that, but he can link up quite well with the other players. And his stamina is fine, by the way, because of his work rates. High to low, he's not going to drop back. He's always looking to uh, get behind that last line of defense. Now, he's worth it. I think 150k is a good price. Alexander-Arnold, 550 I think that is very expensive, but with the way he plays in game, I don't know if he's worth 550, but quite stocky and his challenges are nice, the way he carries the ball. I think he's a very, very good right back. Carl Walker for 411,000. Once again, a pricey card, but I think that he is 
pretty decent, man. And if there is any um, reason for you to play him as a right back, you could get um, just, who is it? Is it Pavard? Or is Pavard being released as a, yeah, yeah, sorry. Pavard's been released as a right back. So you could start him there and then switch the two in game if you fancy that. I know there are a couple of other players that you can do that with as well. With Coutinho, uh, for his price, I'd say his acceleration is good. And if you play on that, you'll be able to like burst past players. His dribbling and control is amazing. His playmaking is fine. His finishing, I would expect him to be able to score goals. But the one chance that I had that fell to him inside the box didn't even hit the target. So for that reason, I believe that he's going to be a liability, especially on this patch. And then with his playmaking, is he good enough to be used? I don't feel the need to be using someone like that in my midfield. I'd rather find someone a bit more balanced in terms of just shooting a bit more on that sprint speed as well. He's good though, and I can see why people are enjoying him. I just don't think that he's really one that I'd recommend. But 400k, it's okay. Uh, Vidal though, 350,000. Pricey, but he's actually very solid as a CDM center mid, a uh, wide center mid even that I played like the two games before this point. Uh, I think he is, I think he's worth the coins. Like, if you can get him for 300,000 with the packs back, uh, he's a pit bull in the midfield and he's comfortable on the ball as well, which is nice from a CDM. His acceleration going into tackles is perfect. I think he's going to be able to score every now and then and the defending and physical stats just speak for itself. Marcelo was the star player. In this, in this team. Having him being played as a left centre mid, my good God, does he feel better on the ball than the team of the year. And that is perfect. Now you've got such a good balance to this card that he is an actual centre mid now, it, it feels like. The stamina is perfect. The way he's breaking up the play on the ball, the playmaking, he is dangerous and he would genuinely be an RTG purchase. And when I talk about bringing players to the RTG, you know they're good. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy them. 600,000... Is it worth it? You know what? I'd say so. I think 600k is a good price because he feels like a team of the year and you get to play him in the midfield with better um, dribbling stats. And that's the most important thing. Like the team of the year was good, but at times I felt like it was holding him back in certain areas. He has complete control over the ball. Really enjoyed Marcelo out of all of them. Boys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully today's video has helped you out decide which ones you're going to be going for. And I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.